Put a dollar value on the cost of a major problem you'd like to solve. If you could fix that, what would be your net return? These high potential returns are why so many companies are giving benchmarking the green light. Plus, keep in mind that if a big part of your duties involves solving quality and production problems, then benchmarking is really just doing your job. We are in a uh, uh, competitive uh, situation where, um, depending on the industry you're in, uh, you, could, you could categorize it as almost uh, crisis proportions. You've got to have some way then of saying, uh, how are we going to find uh, the better practices? Xerox developed benchmarking in the early 80s when they discovered that their Japanese counterparts could sell a copier for what it cost Xerox to build one. They sent a team there to bring back the best practices, and the rest, as they say, is history. Shortly after those um, experiences were showcased to senior management, there was a request that everybody conduct benchmarking along the same lines that manufacturing had uh, started their uh, benchmarking. And the movement has simply grown to the extent that we're now 13 years uh, from that date, uh, and we are still conducting extensive amount uh, of benchmarking. In fact, uh, I would probably characterize we are actually intensifying our efforts uh, for probably the next uh, decade uh, on, uh, on benchmarking. 